My name is Jules. I'm a Radiant player. If you're enjoying this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. If you're interested in coaching yourself or want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to watch the end of the video for details. Other than that, enjoy the video. Okay, so currently Iron 3. All right, so we don't have too many games to play with, but one thing I am noticing, so our damage per round, 75. You want to aim for like around 140. So this is a bit low. Um, same with the KD. KD ratio is like 0.47. You want to aim for like 1. And headshot percentage is a bit low too, so... Wait, someone just got knifed. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. What is going on right now? Okay. He's low. Let's go. All right. 4v2. We have the numbers. A few inches later. So, crosshair placed me, yeah? Oh. Okay. Yeah, our positioning, we, we're always defaulting into that spot. Okay, it was a good try. It was a good try. The only thing... Okay, so with spraying, try not to ADS, right? You don't want to, like, you, you use your right click when, when spraying. Uh, I would actually recommend that don't even use your aim. Like, don't even aim down the sights at all. After plan is tough, though, without lambs control. Yeah. Okay. The idea to ult is good. I think we're a little bit shallow. So we want to be ulting in where the bomb is. You know what I mean? Wherever the bomb is planted, we want to ult on top of it. Man. So that we can see the bomb like that. Okay, nice. Ooh. Oh, oh, I forgot about the fire. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It was a good try. That was a good try. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I like the idea behind the ults, right? Good idea. The only thing I would have done, make sure we're a little bit more into sight when we use our ult because you want to make sure that the ult covers the bomb and the sight in general so they can't defuse outside of the ult. Okay, defending our teammate. This is good. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, walk up here. Just keep walking, keep walking up. And then hug the left side. Oh. Alright, now leave, now leave. <laughs> Careful, there's one heaven. Like. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh, nice try, nice try. No! Oh, wait, we might have that. Maybe, yeah. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. Be careful, careful. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you just be careful with what angles we're exposed to, right? When we don't have our gun out. Like, as soon as I jumped out, I would have hugged the left side, if that makes sense. Um, to avoid ourselves from being open from the hallway or from the door, right? From spawn. Mm -hmm. Sky has heal. Uh, they're coming behind. Yeah, they're coming behind you. Yep. Nice. He's gonna push that. They're gonna, yep. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Good stuff. Yeah, so there's a lot of information you can get from hearing, right? Like, I heard that Sky running spawn there, and that's why I knew, right, uh, they were going to push that that uh, orb. So be, be careful with the, the kind of stuff that you can hear, right? You can get a lot of information, and you get to get free kills because of it, so. Man. The big things that I noticed, crosshair placement, gun control, and audio, okay? And so, crosshair placement, how do we get better crosshair placement? Well, a lot of times we're running around and our crosshair is kind of like, you know, either body level or a little bit low. Um, and we're coming around and we're, we're kind of doing something like this. And um, we fall into this habit where it could be like... We're not necessarily, we're, we're looking at the right spot, but our crosshair isn't mimicking that. So you should always think of it this way. Your crosshair is an extension of your eyes. Your crosshair is your eyes. Wherever you are looking, your crosshair is looking. And okay. yeah, so wherever your eyes are looking, your crosshair is there. Like if I want to look short, I want to look here. And if I want to look, if I'm here and I want to look here, I'm not going to just bring my eyes there. I'm bringing my crosshair there. If my eyes are going there, my crosshair is going there. You know what I mean? If they're stick outside of the ults, if the bomb is planted here and they stick, 
we don't know if they're on it, right? We can't, we just spray and it's not, it's, you know, it's just random. Um, but if our ult gets into the site, like we ult something like this. Well, now we know, like, you know, we can walk up and see if they're sticking it or not. We can, th we can even like throw a molly on it and chill because with your ults, it'll bring them down to one HP and your mollies are deadly, like super deadly in your ults. Like if they just walk over it, one tick of that and they're dead right like they're just dead instead of doing this right this entire time this is like three four four seconds where you know i cannot use my gun but if we just you know go like this right one not even that was like 0.5 of a second where i was exposed during all of this animation so the idea is just like if you do pull out utility um or you are stuck in an animation try and make it so we're not exposed from too many places the best thing i would say is to go into a death match and turn your audio on in the death match don't play music and we are just going to be pulling out our knife and we're going to be running around we don't have to shoot our gun we just we'll just just run around and find out what am i hearing what am i hearing who and where are they and in your minds picture a map where you can see through walls and you put characters behind those walls like, if I'm hearing some gunshots, I'm like, oh, someone is over here. And then when you come around the corner, find out, are they there where you thought they were, right? And it's like, just based off of gunshots, based off of steps, based off of all of this stuff, right? Like, are they where I think they are based off of these um, sound cues that they're giving? Um, when we threw our orb, I don't, I don't know if you remember this, you need, you had 2 HP, you asked your Sky for heal, and your Sky obviously ignored you. Um, but that's, that's beside the point. So we threw our orb, something like this. It was a little bit... Uh, wider but we threw our orb like that and i was like oh there's a person coming from spawn i heard him uh i heard them just like literally sprinting like they, they were just sprinting around the like yeah, around like this <laughs> yeah 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 it's all good right I'm, I'm obviously you know you're not gonna be able to you know pick up all the sound cues that you're hearing but i'm just saying that they do exist and that there is windows where we can pick up on that and because we i heard this person here um, I would hold for this and you know, I know that they're probably gonna push this or something and we could get the jump on them based solely off positioning And that's what ended up happening sky came around the corner pop flashed um, And then came out and then you you killed them um, Because we had a jump on them. That's the power of positioning. Okay, so The idea is if you're shooting you should be standing still and even crouching, right? Because uh, with crouch, it helps with your spray control. Um, right? It makes it makes your 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 spray a little bit tighter um, when you crouch. So that's one of the benefits. Um, it's good to do. But if you do plan on crouch or spraying, you should probably crouch into that if you plan on committing to a gunfight. Um, and you could you could burst as well, where you take a couple shots and move, and then do this right where you take two shots burst strafe and then you do this and you can go very 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 slow we were doing this earlier uh when i had you at the practice range right when you were just kind of doing this and uh we did a fix remember when you were like you were doing this look where my you see where my bullets are going yeah so this is what we were this is what we were doing um before I said anything and then after you know that's when you started pulling it down a bit and this is what you want to do exactly what you started doing so again this is good yeah spraying when we practice our sprays you started doing it which is good right go for three right one two three good one two three and when we're doing this crouch as well when we're crouching we're spraying we're crouching so this way it conditions us to just say okay when I'm spraying I plan on crouching and if I if i'm bursting i'm strafing so yeah so with with our walls and our utility in general i'm not going to show you like all of the best walls on every single map but what i'd rather what, what i'd rather show you is the concept behind your utility and what you should be doing with it okay the idea is to cut off a choke point so what's a bad wall okay well something like this okay and let's say we're holding it from here so why is this one bad well now we gave them a ton of space right we gave them a ton of space to work with they can come out this way and then come out over here you know what i mean like they they can just sneak past you 
And you have this from here to here now to watch. The idea is to just like limit them at the choke. So it's like you just hold something um, like this, right? Even this is like you're giving them a little bit too much space because they can come out from here. They can come out here. Um, so, but the idea is kind of there. Just a little bit deeper. So something like that. Perfect, right? Now it's like they they only have here to here and here to come out of. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like that a uh, little bit too much room to work with. So basically just blocking off a choke point and limiting their range of where they can run, uh, run through. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description, click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time. So if you want to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name without the hashtag and what you learned from the video. I'll be picking out a person randomly.